Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use constructor in C++ and what is a constructor. So first of all, what is a constructor? A constructor is a special member function of a class that is created when you create the object of the class. And the name of the constructor is, constructor is always same as the name of the class. So that is how you can recognize constructor. So let's see how we can declare constructor in classes. But first of all, one more important information. Even if you don't declare a constructor, C++ will create a constructor for you for a class automatically. So we have written this class. There is a constructor for this class which is automatically created even though we have not written any constructor for this class. Now let's see how we can declare constructor for a class. So I have shown, I have already told you constructor has the same name as your class name. So I will just copy this and in my public access specifier I will just write this and I will pass no parameter inside this and I will give these parentheses. So this is called a constructor. Okay, so it has the same name as class and it is always initialized when you create an object. So let's verify if it's created or, or it's initialized when we create the object or not. So I will uh, write some message. I will show some message. So for example, I will write v or u r in constructor. Okay. And I will write end line here. By the way, if you don't know how or how this class works, I have shown you the explanation of this class, book class, in the last video. So if you want, don't know how to declare a class or how what are these functions in this class, I have explained uh, these things in the last two videos. Okay. So what we have done is we have declared a constructor and we have we are showing some value inside our constructor or we are showing some message inside our constructor right now uh, let's create an object of a class so you already know how to create an object of a class you just need the name of your class which is book books and give the variable name or object name which is for example book one okay and even though we are not calling any variable we are just creating the object and I already told you that constructor is called whenever object is created right so even though we are not writing anything let's see what happens I will just compile my program now I will run my program and you see here it shows you are in constructor. That means what I'm saying is true, right? So a constructor is called whenever you declare the object of a class and it is created automatically. Now we don't really use constructor to show some messages, right? Uh, it should have some uh, specific cues. So generally we use constructor to initialize the values of the variable in the class right so for example what you want to do is you want to initialize the value of uh, this variable called name okay we already created set name and get name functions and we need to initialize this name with some value or otherwise for example if somebody writes see out this he calls this book one dot get name what will happen 
because we haven't initialized any value to the name and we directly we are calling this uh, get name what happens here is i will just close this and i will compile this and see, let's see what happens you see here it's showing some error because we haven't initialized any values and this function does not matches this function let's just change this and now let's compile the program once again and let's run the program and you see here you will not be able to see any values here because we haven't assigned any values to our string variable called name so why do we use constructor we generally use constructor to initialize some value to the constructor and how we can initialize the name value or initialize this variable name you can just pass a parameter called string because this variable is a string right so you can just pass string for example x and what you can do is you can call this set name function here set name is equal to x for example okay so whenever you create an object it will initialize and you have to give some name to your object and that that object will go here and then that object that function will assign this value to name and indirectly you are assigning the value to name variable okay so we have initialized name by initializing this constructor now whenever you pass some argument in the constructor like this for example we have initialized our constructor with the string variable then you need to uh, initialize your object with an argument which is string also so i will give, give the name of the book c++ tutorial for example and now when we run the program compile it or run it, run it you can see uh, this book one dot get name gives you the name of the book right and what we have done we have simply initialized this value with a constructor like this okay so once again why do we use constructor we do use constructor to initialize value and when const when constructor is uh, initialized or when constructor is created whenever you create the object of the function and if you pass argument to the constructor you need to pass the same data type argument to the constructor to initialize it like this okay now one more uh, little concept i want to show you is for example you want to create a different object for example book 2 object you want to create a book 2 object we have created already book 1 object so we create we will create book 2 object and we initialize this with some other name so book name will be this time for example java tutorials okay and once again you call this book two dot get name so what do you think what will happen because this is a different object and this is a different object so one might think that whenever you create a second object of a class it will overwrite the name you have given to the first object but this doesn't happen every object you create it has different or its own set of name set of function so this object will have independent this variable name this function get name and this function set name and this has 
nothing to do with this object. This object will also has its own name, get name and set name function. And this object will also have its own name, variable and get and set functions. Okay. So when you compile this program, both object will be initialized and they will work fine. C++ tutorial, Java tutorial. And they are independent of each other. Right. So it's just an instance of a class you are creating by object. And they are not related to each other or they are not dependent on each other. Each object is independent of each other. So I hope you have understood the concept of constructor in C++ and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.